Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you how to do this um, cool looking Makume Gane style. Um, so you're going to need some translucent clay and I've already rolled it out onto a number three on my pasta machine which is an Atlas 150 and the fourth thickest setting. Um, and I've just cut out um, some two inch squares and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine squares. Okay, so that's that's that. And then I've also rolled out some black on the thinnest setting. So this is a number nine on mine. And the same with this white clay, which is also rolled out onto a number nine. So it is very thin. Um, I've already rolled out some translucent for my backing. I'm just leaving that there for now. And you will also need some alcohol inks. Now I'm going with these colours, but you could use whichever colours you wanted. I'm using blue, lilac, and this one is called berry. So blue, purple, and red, basically. You're going to need um, usual blades and acrylic roller. And some silver leaf. And I'm also going to be using this... Um, purple leaf that I bought a whole stack of. You get different colours with it and I'm using the purple. You'll also need um, a craft knife and a paintbrush. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and we're just going to focus on these translucent squares to start with. Um, so I'm going to start with let me just move those out of the way, it's easier. I'm just going to start with a piece of translucent at the bottom. And I'm just going to add some of this silver leaf to it. Again, you could um, use the, the sheets of silver leaf, it would be easier to put that on there. So just get that covered. And then I'm going to take each of my translucent pieces and add some alcohol ink. I'll start with this one. And get the lid off and you just want maybe two drops you don't need a lot and then just quickly brush it over so that's one color and I'm just going to keep brushing over it it just helps it to dry quicker so that's the first one and I'm going to do two of those so again with the red one, two drops and brush it on just going to dry that off a little bit my brush and then just go back over like I say, this just helps to dry it quicker the more you brush over it. So that's those two. Don't forget to clean your brush in between colours. I'm just using some alcohol and then just rubbing it on a cloth. Okay, next colour then. Let's go with this blue. And again, on two drops, brush it on. Okay, and then the second piece with the blue, two drops, and 
and brush it on and then I'm going to do two more pieces of the translucent and um, do the last colour but I'm going to do that off camera. Okay so I've added um, all the three colours to the little squares and we've got our bottom piece of translucent with the silver leaf on it and now I'm just going to start stacking the colours. No particular order. Um, whatever you feel and then I'm going to add another piece of trans and some more silver leaf oops So I went, what did I do? Blue and red, trans, so now I'll add this purple and then I am going to add some of this um, purple leaf to it, to the purple piece. I find it very awkward to do anything when I've got my um, thumb wrapped up in a bandage like this. It's a bit awkward. But there we go. So let's just... I don't care if it gets on the other pieces, to be honest. It's fine. Oh, that didn't stick very well, did it? Just put another piece on there. sticking everywhere. I love and hate this stuff all at the same time. Anyway, so there's the purple and then I'm going to go with another colour. Let me think, do I want the trans on top or I think I'll do this and then the trans. I don't suppose it matters too much which way you do it, but I'm just thinking out loud really. You can do it whichever way you want to. So again, some more silver on the translucent piece. And let me get rid of this because I hate it right now. Oy -oy. Right, and then another piece of purple, but I'm not going to put any more leaf on it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I just want to do a little bit of the purple leaf running through that. Okay, so you've got your stack, and you just need to compress it all together so it's nice and stuck together. Let me just clean this a little bit. I've actually run out of wet wipes as well, so this cloth will have to do. Right, give it a quick dry. And let's go back to the block. Okay, so we've got it all together, just making it nice and stuck together. I'm just stretching it out a little bit so it's more of an oblong than a square. And then I'm just going to cut it in half. Actually, I'm contemplating whether to cut it in half and stack or just leave it as is. I think I'm going to leave it as is. I don't think I'm going to stack. Yes, that's my decision. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it and I'm just going to roll it, but I want it a little bit more rectangle than square. I already um, did a practice run with this and I did um, cut and stack just one time. 
and I will show you those afterwards. We'll see what difference it makes. Um, but because we've already got all of the colours running through, I don't think we really need to restack it. Okay, so I've got it into a rectangle, but I just want to condense it a little bit so it's a little bit thicker. Mm, let me think, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Right, now you need um, a craft blade. Now, if you've got one of those um, wavy blades, one where they're actually cut like a wave. I don't mean I don't mean one like this. It's a smooth blade but the edges are, are wavy. Just the edges are wavy would be a lot easier to do. But I don't have one. So I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to cut into the stack starting from one corner, making sure it goes all the way through the stack and then I'm just going to cut some little wiggly curves into the stack like that. So you're left with this. So if you do have one of those blades that cuts that way, that would be marvellous. You could easily do that. So I'm going to separate the two pieces and now I'm going to take that very thin black clay which is rolled out onto number nine and just cut a little strip and place it on the inside of this stack of clay and I'm pushing it into those grooves that I cut um, by doing the wavy line and then I'm just going to get rid of the excess Turn it the right way. Just get rid of the excess. And the other side. And then piece it back together in the same way that you cut it. Like so. Okay, so that's the first one make sure it's firmly stuck back together and I'm going to cut a second line following the first line so it's going to be the same curve all the way through to the bottom of the stack. Now I'm going to take the white piece that I already rolled out on my thinnest setting which is a number nine and same thing Take a strip and place it on that stack that you've got and again push it into the grooves where you cut. And then just remove the excess. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so just push it back in and then take your piece, your other piece of the stack, and push it back together. Get rid of that. Actually, don't want to put it back together yet. I wanted to add another black strip. So um, take the black clay and the same thing, cut a strip and place it over the white strip. Like that. And then put it back together. Oops, wrong way like so. Now you can do that as many times as you want but I'm just going to do those those two lines through there 
and then oh my gosh my desk is so messy today I can't seem to keep it clean okay so we've got the stack we've got the lines in there and that that's really all there is to it now if you wanted to like poke little patterns in there as well you could I think I am just going to poke in a few just for that little extra added interest so I'm just going to take my ball pokey tool thing and just dot a few of those in not many I don't want many maybe just one here okay and then we just need to push it back together like we do with any Makume Gane give it a good squish make sure it's all stuck together give it a quick roll just make sure it's all nicely stuck together and that is pretty much it so once you've done that you're just going to start taking your slices I'm just going to compress it a little bit so it's easier to stand up and just start taking slices so let's see what this is going to look like there's the first cut not seeing much um, silver leaf in there. Let's try this one. Okay, there we go. So now you're starting to get some of that silver leaf coming through as well. I'm just going to give it another squish. Obviously you can pick which side looks good to you because it's going to vary a little bit. And then I'm going to see if I can just get one more cut from this. And there we go. Those are the pieces. Okay, so the backing clay then. I've already got that rolled out and I've rolled it onto a number two. Let me see, what do I like? Let me go with, that's the bottom, that's the top. Let me go with this one. So just take your slice and place it over the clay, obviously, and then give it a good roll. Don't worry if it starts to separate because you know what um, metal leaf is like. It doesn't like to stick to the clay, so you just have to play with it a little bit see like some came off there I'm not worried just give it actually I really like that because that's revealed a lot of that purple so just keep giving it a gentle roll now you could have this it doesn't matter which way you have the um, wavy lines it could be anyway I think I'm liking it this way and then quick burnish make sure it's smooth and I am just going to give it a little clean with some alcohol and a q-tip try and get rid of some of those um, floaty bits of metal leaf that have landed on the top so just give it a quick clean around the edges quick smooth and another burnish just to be sure and then cut out your shape so let me think what shape do I want to use 
Just got to make sure it fits, obviously. Let me just roll that out a little bit more. It doesn't quite fit. Okay. Look at my do it at an angle. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so then just cut your shape out. Give it a wiggle. Wiggle it just a little bit. I want to see you wiggle it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's that one. I'm just going to lift it off this card because if it sticks too much, it's a pain to get off once it's baked. Just going to give those edges a smooth. And I think we will cut out another shape. Let me see which one. Hmm. Let me try this one. I might need to re-roll this clay out, guys. Just give me a quick second and I'll be All back. Alright, so I rolled out another piece of translucent for my backing and I've, I've picked one of my slices and I've still got these three left. Um, and I'll obviously figure out something to do with them but um, I'm just going to show you this one last one so again just roll it out onto your backing sheet this one's got less um, silver leaf in it for some reason but it has got the a little bit of the purple showing like I say with this you're going to get a different look on each slice and um, like I said, the last lot that I did, I did roll and, and stack just the one time and it does give it a slightly different look. So I'll show you those and you can see the difference and you can decide which way you'd rather do it. This is what I love about clay. You can just experiment and um, just change one thing. Just one slight thing can make, a, a you know, quite a big difference. But... Um, Okay, let me go there. I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, give it a wiggle, but I'm not going to sing again. Oops. And that's that. Okay. So that's that one. Just going to give that a quick whoops quick press down and a quick smooth and a quick burnish and we're good to go so they're the two pieces that um, I'm going to go and put in the oven now guys and uh, when they're done I'll be back all right guys I've baked them and resined them and added findings this is from today's batch I made these earrings as well you didn't see me do these that's what they look like. I'm not totally happy with them to be honest but um, I think it's more my colour choices than anything. It, the alcohol ink, the, the red alcohol ink turned a bit pinky for my liking but experiment. The technique's there and you can experiment with whatever colours you'd like. You could even just use one colour if you wanted to. And then there's this one that I did today and this is the one that I did on camera and the other one that I did on camera I'm not even going to show it to you because it's hideous so this is the one that I did on camera and these all of those are from the same batch so that's those now I experimented before like I said in my video and um, this is one of them from my original batch and um, I did the lines a bit too thick um, and I used different colours, I used green and, and blue and lilac I think um, so there's that one and then there was these from that original batch that I did as well which I like the colours better on these but the lines are too thick so if you do the technique how I explained it today with the the lines rolled onto a number seven these were rolled onto a number uh, sorry number nine these were rolled onto a number six so they're too thick so you need to go lower with the the lines but again experiment with color 
so there's those ones and then I just did a few more um, with that original batch and these ones are laid over black clay not translucent clay so you can see and this one I personally don't like it because I don't like the green so much I'm not really a green fan I don't mind just a little hint of it I like on that one and this one but that one again for, to me personally it's not my favorite color but there you go so that's what they look like so that's all from the original batch the experiment that I did and these are all from today's batch so that's all for today guys thanks for watching catch you later bye